What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Stack. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. I am Pete. And today we have, wow, that was intense. Aggressive. Uh, we have three Newsarama sneak reviews for you guys. Yeah, Fantastic Four, 554, Booster Gold Zero, and X-Force number one. But first, there was a bunch of big news. Oh, big man. News. This was, yay. I closed my, locked my door once I heard this and went to sleep and dreamed. <laughs> I just dreamed about so what it was going to be like. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I was too much. I went into overload. Uh, first, of course, James Robinson is going to be writing Superman starting with 676 in May. That's I think, I think I've think i been rubbing this genie lamp for a did long you, time. And did your finally, head explode a little bit? A little bit. James Robinson, who uh, did Starman for so long, which is what, if I were yeah, to die, I would want to be buried in Starman comics. If that's, I can just put that out there. <laughs> because I would, we, Want to be buried in Jeff Bridges? What? Well, inside? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> different star. That doesn't different make. St that doesn't Wrong coincide. Star yeah, 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 like yeah, to yeah, be buried yeah. inside Jeff Bridges, like a turducken? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it would be like a Bridge Zalbin. That's oh, disgusting. Man, All right, we'll talk about gross. that later. Uh, also, Jeff Johns, of course, re-upped his exclusive with DC, yeah, which is yeah, really so. awesome. It's good because yeah, he does everything at DC. <laughs> that's great. Right. Who's gonna make the coffee titles? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah, he does that. Yeah, and it's he, amazing. Uh, he makes his own bagels, too. That's really <laughs> the extra uh, care. And uh, the third thing, which I thought was pretty much the most awesome news, uh, is Kurt Busiek and Mark Bagley, Bagley, sorry, are going to be doing Trinity, which is going to star... Oh, uh, the new one, weekly series. The new weekly series, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. And they're going to be doing the main story, and there's going to be a bunch of backups. Awesome. Can't That's wait. crazy, though. Yeah, I can't That's crazy wait. that they're... Big news. Two guys going to be doing a weekly series. Yeah, yeah. they're going to be tired. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna sleep. I'm They're gonna shut down just like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Out of joy. Yeah. Check out newsrama.com for the full stories. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, and speaking of Newsarama, here's your Newsarama sneak reviews. Starting off with Fantastic Four 554 by Mark yes. Millar and Brian Hitch. Hitch. New, yeah. Team, yeah. new team, new team. What'd you guys think about this? There's a lot of anticipation for this title. Definitely harking back uh, to the classic. Uh, they pick up with a little time traveling episode. Yeah, oh, like, oh, oh, they're so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna start this off by saying, generally speaking, I liked it, and there uh -oh. were some really cool things. Uh -oh. wait, wait, no, I love uh, Miller. I love Hitch. Art is awesome. Mm -hmm. Writing is generally pretty good. It was really expository, pretty yeah. much across the board. There was a lot of like. Hey, we're the Fantastic Four, and this is what we do. Yeah. I feel like that they need to do that, though. In really? Case. Well, people... Who do you feel like people don't know who the Fantastic Four are? No, but I, I feel like they're trying to appeal are. to people who've been reading, like, the Ultimate Universe with this, maybe. And they're trying to bring it around. I uh, think you're trying to dig a hole here. I don't understand what you're talking about at all. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to dig a hole, but you're unsuccessful. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's on cement. Also, <laughs> uh, I think... The issue built out of the kind of the kind of campy Fantastic Four into yeah. something where you can tell they're moving campy. forward. It was yes. definitely um, campy. No, that's yeah. totally true. I mean, I love the end of the issue. I yeah. love where they're going with it. It's really huge, really big stories. Yeah. It's uh, but just, I understand as a Fantastic Four fan, it's yes. frustrating to be like, yeah, we know who the thing is. He's <laughs> yeah. ugly. We He's get big. it. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Reed Richards is smart. Thank you. Right. <laughs> no, in this issue, there was a, that panel where it was like, he's dreamy, which yeah, I thought which was, was great, so funny. Actually. It, it, there was some, as I said, there were some good moments. Definitely pick it up. Yeah. Uh, Booster Gold Zero. Finally, a zero hour tie in for I, Booster I Gold. I wanted yeah. to talk about it. But yeah, no. well, talk about Booster Gold. Okay, yeah, Booster Gold Zero. I'm not a big fan of the Zero issue, but this was had a lot going on. It was nice to see the old Blue Beetle with the new Blue Beetle. I thought that was kind of And fun. another Blue Beetle. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. And a fourth Blue Beetle. Yeah, God. How many and then the uh, I, Skeets I love battle. this title. Yeah. I love this title. I think uh, it's great tying into the little news bit that Jeff Johns got re-upped. Yeah. So hopefully he'll keep writing this because it's a lot of fun. And it's so different than all the other yeah. DC stuff. It's like out on its own, doing whatever they want, breaking rules, hard time, soft time. It's so, so unique. Yeah. It's just really a lot of fun. The art also is fantastic. Yes, indeed. I will say, though, I've been trained to be like, time travel, I don't know. And yeah. this, they're breaking all the rules. Yeah, that, because I know. they've been getting like, looser and looser and looser yeah. as they go on. Like, Marty McFly would not break this rule. No. That's, <laughs> I hold that he up as the... almost had sex with his own mom. Yeah, exactly, oh, and that's well, almost, one man. I don't know about that. I mean, it well, was... Well, it depends almost, on how close Like, yeah. definitely he did? No, no, no. They no, were no. naked. They were naked in bed. your fanfic, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I was just saying, it wasn't that close. They were naked in bed. They weren't naked. <laughs> Have you seen I'm the outtakes? really awesome <laughs> note, let's move on to talk about X-Force number one. Yeah! Wow. That <laughs> was like Kyle and Ross, who uh, just got off of New X-Men, which is awesome. Love them. Uh, I like this title so much more than I thought it would, and I think yeah. it's completely due to them. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. great writers, and it makes me sad, actually, because Young X-Men was just announced, and I don't know who's gonna if they're going to do a good job. It's, it's Mark Guggenheim. So. Yeah, but I love their work. 
Why don't people listen to Wolverine when he talks? He's the best at what he does. Like, what? <laughs> how can you sit there and disagree with Wolverine? Like, after all he's been through, after all the times he's done the right thing, he's just going to sit there. It's ridiculous. I was, uh, it was an emotional roller coaster for me for X Force One. I'm like, <laughs> why aren't you listening? Yeah, that's definitely what the book was going for with yeah. this nonstop bloody action, was yeah. emotional roller coaster. Wolverine for president. Uh, let yeah. Me, let me go ahead and say that. A um, lot of stabbing. They put yes. together this team for X Force and it's all sharp. They all have it's sharp all things. People. Yeah, they're yeah. all wolfy people. It's all hairy wolf people. It's awesome. Which I, it really, yeah. You can't I get any better wish, than this title. I kind of wish that's what they called it. <laughs> sharp hairy. things? The sharp things are hairy wolf people. The, point, the pointy <laughs> adventures. Uh, the art's fantastic oh, on this man, as well. Yeah, um, really great Wolverine. Uh, he's yeah. chilling out like in his uh, big shirt there and like <laughs> Cyclops is there staring at him. I don't know. Some what? Cool. Uh, so would you say that. pick it up? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Right. Out of all three of those, if you can only pick up one, definitely X-Force. <laughs> all right. Don't uh, eat. Pete doesn't speak don't eat dinner and buy comics. <laughs> uh, yeah. After the break, we have a speed round for you and also one of your viewer questions, so stay tuned. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to communicate with the hosts of the stack via telepathy. Could you please be quiet? I want to tell him I like the show. Sorry. Telepathy is cool and all, but we think uploading a video comment or sending an email to tips at pulpsecret.com is a lot easier. But, hey, it's your call. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. It is yeah. time for the speed round. <laughs> new speed round style. Yeah, this is angry. new. This is kind of like loud, ninja speed round. Yeah, there's no yelling. Yeah. On Fox Sports. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Scott, this one is a fantastic issue. If anything, pick it up for the way it's drawn. It's amazing. Black and white. There's no, like, real panels. It's all uh, really well done. And it's a lot of fun and funny. Uh, Star Wars Rebellion number 11, uh, we have never been readers or commentators on the Star Wars comics, but uh, you guys asked for it, so uh, I picked it up. And it's, uh, it's a cool read, it's definitely playing in the universe. Uh, I liked it, I want to learn more about it. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Sleepless number 5, this series has been totally off the rails not so far, yeah. and this is the first issue where I really feel like it actually started to settle down and bring everything together, and we started to get a little hint of where Ellis is going, so definitely pick it up. Space Doubles number one. This is a cool issue because it's three comics within one. Uh, my favorite was the one page one in the middle called Pickle Patrol. It was <coughs> hilarious. Oh. Teen Titans year one number two. Uh, I like this. The first issue I was a little hesitant to get on board because of the whole year one thing, but this is cool. Uh, the art's great and I like the story they're building. Awesome. All right, time for a viewer mail. Uh, Brad asks, how important are fights and physical action to superhero comics? And, uh, calm down. Uh, and are they more important than characterization moments? Uh, should superhero comics insist in inserting action fight scenes even if the story itself doesn't call for it? Yes! God, are you kidding me? Uh, fight sequences make comics. It's the why we love uh, superhero comics so much. It's amazing. Why, you that, being said, that being said, um, a well-written comic does not necessarily need a fight sequence. Yeah. So it needs fight sequences, but it doesn't need yes. fight sequences. Yeah, if you're going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to write something that's amazing. Whenever my life gets boring, I go out and pick a fight with a stranger. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. That's the way we'll I out. Uh, We didn't mention it in the question, but the guy did bring up in his letter to us uh, Green Arrow, Black Canary, number four, which had no fight scenes at all, and you loved, right, Pete? Yeah, well, yeah, it was what's emotional. up with that? Yeah, yeah, deal with that, Pete. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, yeah, there's exceptions to every rule, but, uh, <laughs> you know, when in doubt, throw in a fight sequence, because, uh, just, know, they're fun. Just they're, like anything in a good, good story, as long as it's supported, like, you exactly. want to see a fight that it's been built up to, and it means something. Like, when you see, like, like I'm sick of seeing people fight Hydra. Like, no, no one ever thinks Hydra's like, yeah. oh no, what's gonna happen? Is Hydra gonna win? Yeah. And no, Hydra's <laughs> never gonna win. Because the point of Hydra is you kill them and two more take their place. Yeah. I would say I'm sort of halfway, not halfway between, I agree with both of you guys, uh, that... You are so positive. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Well, everything is awesome. Except for Jeff Bridges, because you're gonna crawl inside him <laughs> and die. Oh, I just wanna, like, man. Wear I was hoping we wouldn't stuff. go back there. I was really <laughs> hoping great. we wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I, I do think that action sequences are they're part of the superhero genre. They're enjoyable, they're fun. But I agree, they need to be based in character like everything else, or there's no point. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, if you are going to write something and just kind of have like a random guy walking down the street and a superhero punches him, that would be enjoyable. 
<laughs> that would be pretty cool. All yeah. right. Uh, if you guys have a question, you can call us at 888-841-7549 or write us at tips at pulpsecret.com. And you can upload your video responses on YouTube or comment right here below the video. Who's saying what? I don't know. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys. At the tone, leave a message. We'll get back to you. Yeah, I don't think graphic novels will ever really replace uh, monthly comics. It's like asking the question if DVDs of TV shows will replace the air first airings of the TV shows. I mean, you have to have the airings of the TV shows for the DVDs to be worth anything. Graphic novels are going to replace monthly comics because I've never gone into a comic book store where I didn't feel like such an outsider that like, you know, I don't feel judged walking to a Barnes & Noble.